has really helped out this Pelicans team mature a lot more. He's looking some outstanding basketball. He's played in some big games. Remember, he has been in the conference finals. Good to see Marcus Morris yes. knock down that shot. The matchups have been a double double machine. Second in the league right now. Double -double, isn't it? Counted and a foul is. for Marcus Morris Sr. And Marcus Morris, we've seen how important he is in regards to getting the party started offensively early in the game. The keep him on up. There's all five for the Clippers. There was a point earlier last year when Tyloo opened up every game getting Marcus Morris Sr. a shot at the foul. This time he rebukes the effort of McCullough. Averaging 26 points in the 20 or so games he has played for the Pelicans. More after the three earlier, he hits another one. And the Clippers are out in front 17 to 20. If you're the Clippers, you don't panic on that. That's a shot you're going to give up. If he makes a couple more, you make the adjustments. I've always been a fan of his athleticism. Ingram back the other way, also a former Laker. Zion's rookie extension. Well, and, I mean, it puts New Orleans in a situation where they have to make a decision because you know what he can be when he's healthy. With Terrence Mann, got Trey Murphy involved, he had to step back just a little bit. That gave Paul George a lot of enough room for him to get that shot off. Murphy for three, it's long. Rebound tapped around, and it goes to Marcus Morris Sr. Shoot right over the top. Now, the Pelicans do have a 20-point comeback on their resume, and I am reluctant to tell you it came against the Clippers. It's funny acting. You start having those empty possessions, you allow a team to knock some shots in, and I don't think Marcus Morris Sr. wants that to happen. But the Clippers have met the challenge against what I think is a very good Pelican squad. Morris to get up and down on the three-point play. That means you got to bring it when we get back home. Not just this game, but these last, you know, four games. Nice pass inside. Better deflection by Senior. Here come the Clippers. Talking to Rocco before the game, he said, I didn't anticipate that. I definitely thought I dribbled a bit more. But what an incredible night in Milwaukee, Brian. I don't know. Should we invite Jim Jackson on the party bus? <laughs> Morris on the wing in front of the Pelican bench. Trying to extend the Clippers' lead. They've led by as many as 23. Morris. I'll tell you what, he's on. He's on one right now. Five for seven, but 0 for 5. He still leads the way ever since, they should say. He still leads the way for score. Jones accelerates, stops, trying to and Marcus Morris Sr. tight ropes the sideline. Beats the buzzer. No, but a flawless first half for the Clippers. The pro game is more suited, skill set wise, than the top. Wide open look for Morris. A rare miss for the Clippers tonight. Jackson in the corner. You may face this Pelican team that you haven't beaten all year. So to kind of put a pounding on them if you could in this game. Zoo makes another good read. Great ball movement. Morris the three. Nice. Marcus Morris senior tonight with 19 points. Three of five from the three-point line. Whistle and a foul. It's been a year. No, it's not been a year. But it gets, well, look like, at the dates. A year would have been December. Here we go. It's a man. <laughs> Come on, man. I know you missed me. I know you did. <laughs> Caught him off guard. He, a little tear came to his eye a little bit, I think. The problem with Jim is that he's lactose intolerant. Lactose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it. Here is Morris for three. 15 triples for the Clippers. To the Clippers, and it was fun to kind of watch his first NBA season as a coach through his eyes. And he was always marveling at the food on the plane. <laughs> Defensive de efficiency team, which says a lot about the makeup of this team right here. And you want to be full throttle? 